All right, we welcome you back. Let me catch up some emails. Carla, boy, Carla, come on. Not all uh, Razorback fans are Matt Jones fans. I, for one, am sick and tired of hearing about Matt. No doubt he is a great athlete, but please give us a break. We're not all Jaguars fans. <laughs> the rest of us were Jaguars fans until Matt Jones got there. They're just Matt Jones fans. You don't hear that pretty much. Everybody loves Matt. Yeah, here's one from Pete. What's the deal with Spurrier? Can he just not humble himself? Do you think that the Hogs might be able to do it for him? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the Hogs just want to win this game. I don't know about humbling him. I don't think that can be done. The NFL would have done that if uh, anything had him. Um, yeah, Philip. Philip says that uh, uh, that, uh, that that Spurrier has described himself as the old as just an old ball coach. That it came from himself. He, he <laughs> now, <laughs> how surprising is that? That he he gave himself his own moniker there. He also said there's a bunch of White Sox fans too. Until next year. <laughs> You White Sox fans, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Jeff is hanging on the hey. line. Hi, Jeff. Hey, is this Marty? Yeah, it is. What's up, man? Not much. Is this <laughs> Jeff? Yeah. All right. Well, go right ahead, buddy. Hey, uh, I just got to say, I just want to make a comment. Okay. And, and that is, if you were an Arkansas quarterback and yes. you had Mitch Mustang that is committed to Arkansas, uh, how would you feel knowing that he's going to walk in and he will be the starting quarterback next year because if he's not, Houston Nutt's gone. I mean, he's the number one quarterback in the, in the country. And Arkansas Boosters definitely want him as a quarterback. Well, they, they, and, and they might. That doesn't mean he necessarily starts. Uh, I think he'll play, and, and, and he may start. I'm just saying, I don't know. It just depends on what kind of progress you see out of Casey Dick between now and then. Yeah, but I definitely think in my first... I mean, time, listen, the, you know, really, there is not too many teams that come in with a true freshman quarterback and have a lot of great success. Okay. I don't care. I mean, I mean even with the, 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 highly, the most highly rated quarterbacks that come in, uh, you know, they, 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 they take their knocks, and you don't have a, a, a lot of success as a team starting a true freshman quarterback. I don't think that's pointed out enough. Let me I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't all of a sudden turn around. He may help you out at that position, but you're going to take some knocks with a true freshman at a, a starting as a quarterback. That's where Casey Dick can help if he progresses here. Right, but let me say one thing. Okay. Arkansas is going to have an established offensive line. They're going to have the best tandem running back situation in the country. One, two, three between McFadden. Felix Jones and Michael Smith. Yep. Best, I mean, best one, two, three tandem in the country, running back wise. Okay. Okay. You got your established wide receiving plus a quarterback that can get the ball to Marcus Monk. Okay. Any, I mean, any high school quarterback, just like <laughs> at OU. Okay. OU was awesome last year with Jason White. Right. Okay. Look at him this year. Well, that, okay, it, look, hey, look, listen, that quarterback was the number one rated guy in the uh, in, in the country when they look got Look at Adrian Peterson. Last year, he was a Heisman candidate. This year, he ranks about 150th for the Heisman candidate. Okay. Okay, he ran behind the offensive line, all right? Well, any, any awesome quarterback, freshman quarterback, could walk in to and have an awesome season behind the line, the receivers, the everything they got. The defense is awesome anyways. So wait, now let me let me wrap this up. Make sure I get your your, your point on this. What, uh, what the point you're making on this? I'm talking about Mitch Mustang. That just, just that he's going to be the starting quarterback next year. I think he'll be the starting quarterback, and I think we're going to lose probably two quarterbacks. I don't think you'll see Robert Johnson back okay. unless he's willing to be the backup. You know, he could drop to. I mean, he's going to be a junior next year. You think you think Casey Dick leaves? I think I think you're looking at having. Possibly Alex come back. I don't know. Okay. I think Casey Dick will be there, and I think Mitch Mustang because if if he definitely doesn't play fifty percent of the time, right? This whole state's gonna be pissed. <laughs> and you know that. Well, I think I, 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 I think you're right. I think people are expecting him to play next year. So I mean, he, I, hey, Jeff, I, I I hate to cut you off, but I have got to hit this break. All right. But I do appreciate your call. Thanks. All right, we've got more in a moment. Stay with us.